So this is going to be a quick uh, tutorial on how to set up your Django web project with Nginx to serve your static files. I'll be using Waitress uh, as the server for Django. So my web project is located on my GitHub page. There will be a link in the description below. But there are steps outlined for how to do this. So I'm just going to go to these steps. So you can see that there's a heading here, Nginx and Waitress. So the first thing that I need to do before I begin setting this up is spin up a new VM. I'll be using the Google Cloud Platform. You can use uh, VirtualBox or whatever whatever uh, is available to you. But since I already have my VM running, I'm going to open that up. And I've had so I've uh, gone went ahead and set up a couple of things. The first thing I did was install Python. I chose to use uh, Python 3.7.7. I also uh, downloaded and installed uh, Git Bash onto this VM and uh, Visual Studio Code, uh, which will be needed in order to edit a couple of files. Uh, so if we go down, I'm just going to refresh this page. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to download and install Nginx. And we're going to save it onto just the C drive. So currently right now, what's available under the main line is version 1.19.0. So I'm going to download that. And I'm just going to extract the contents. I'm going to copy this. And like I said, I'm just going to paste it right on the C drive. That's basically it for now. Close this out. The next step is to inside po install Python. Um, and as I mentioned, I already did that. Um, the three libraries that you need to install will be Django, OpenPyXL, and Waitress. And the next step we need to do is edit our settings.py. There are essentially three settings that we need to do. Okay, so the settings that we need to, or the changes that we need to make to our settings.py file are first to set debug to false, add in a uh, local host. Um, the name of your server. I think mine is called let's see Windows Nginx and then you also want to copy the IP address to your uh, VM. And if you're just running this on your um, virtual machine box on your local machine you don't need to worry about this part. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is over here, down below, we need to change. We need to add a static root for our static files. Okay, uh, now we're just going to go ahead and run this line Python manage.py collect static. So I'm going to open up, go to my desktop open up my web project and right here I'm just going to type in cmd to open up a terminal. I'm going to type in python manage.py collect static. And I don't have much CSS uh, in this project so there's just going to be the admin CSS and one CSS file for uh, my own project which you can see here under my app. Just one style CSS file. Okay, so we have our settings updated. We have our static collected. The next step that we need to make is um, all right. So we need to go to the uh, this directory, nginx waitress, and there is a comp file for uh, that's specifically for nginx. So three things that we need to make sure are uh, edited correctly are the server name, the path to the static files, and proxy pass. So right here we have our nginx conf. Uh, I'm going to add the um, name of our server which is Windows nginx 
I don't have any media, but if you have any media, you will want to update this path. And the path to my static is, I'm going to cheat a little over here, copy that. And just copying and pasting that address makes it a little easier just to make sure that you don't have any spelling errors. Okay, and the proxy pass will just be pointing to a localhost 8080. And the reason for that is because I have a run server.py script here that uh, this is going to be uh, pulling in from the waitress module that I installed. I'm going to be importing the serve function. And from my web project, I'm going to be pointing to the whiskey.py file and importing that uh, application variable. And to show you what I'm talking about, uh, so we have here the whiskey.py file that's created when you start a Django project, and automatically this application variable gets created. Okay, so we have this set up. The next thing that we need to do is go to where Nginx is installed. Uh, and create two directories, sites enabled and sites available. And in each of those directories, we need to paste in that uh, web project nginx com file. So I'm going to navigate to the C drive, go to nginx, and here I'm just going to type in sites available. and sites enabled. I'm go to my desktop and grab that com file. Go back and just paste. Alright, so you should have two com files located in those two directories. The next step to make is to edit the nginx com file. And what you want to add is you want to add a line that says include and then the path to that um, sites enabled web project nginx com file. And then you also want to change one of the ports. So I'm going to do this the easy way. So I'm going to navigate to nginx conf and right click on this and I'm going to open this with code. Or Visual Studio Code. Okay, so where I want to include that line include is right here. And I just need the path. I forgot. Was it? It was sites enabled. And you want to end this line with a semicolon. All right, just to verify that this path is correct, I'm going to copy it. And I'm just going to paste it right here on this address bar. I'm going to remove that semicolon. Hit enter. And you can see it pointed me right to this file, which is what we want. I'm going to save that. And one last thing that I want to change is uh, just by default, the server is uh, listening to port 80, port to localhost, and it's serving uh, this root directory HTML file. And that HTML file is just like um, a simple Nginx uh, welcome text saying, like, hey, things are working, things are installed correctly for Nginx. But we don't want that. What we want to reserve is that, 80, that port 80 for our Django web project. So I'm going to change that 80 to something that I know I won't use. For me, that's going to be 10. And I'm reserving that port 80 for my uh, web project uh, so that Django, sorry, Nginx can serve my Django project and its static files. 
Okay, the last thing to do is to take this run server.py file. I'm going to move it out here, outside of that nginx waitress uh, directory. And the last thing to do is really just run this. Close that out. Actually, I shouldn't have. I'm go back to my web project on my desktop. Type in CMD again to open up a new terminal. Now we're going to type in python run server.py. Okay, you can see that we're running our, our server on port 8080. So I'm going to open up a new private window, navigate to local localhost 8080 and you should see that my uh, simple app is being served. Now things look a little uh, jarring uh, that's because well things are misaligned they're not as I intended to display the content uh, and that's because the CSS isn't being served. Uh, what we really want is just to navigate to localhost that's it, or localhost 80. Um, but first, what we need to do is uh, start up Nginx. So I'm going to open up a separate terminal after I navigate to Nginx directory. Type in CMD here. And we have this uh, file here, the Nginx, that we want to execute. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is type in Nginx t. And that's just to do a quick sanity check. Uh, you can see here that syntax is OK and the test is successful. That's what we want. Last thing we need to do is just run Nginx without any flags. OK, we can verify that Nginx is running by navigating to the task manager. Under details, you should see Nginx running. Now, I'm just going to open up a separate window, go to localhost, and you can see uh, that now my uh, web project is being served with its, um, with its uh, CSS. And so that's how to um, link your uh, Django web project with Nginx. Thanks for watching.